Okay, so got my stuff assorted, more or less. This is the stuff. A lot of it we've been waiting on, and most of it's come, except for a few more um, pre-dried food packets that you heat up with water and you eat right out of the bag. Got more of them coming. But pretty much I got everything that I had planned on. Even got a couple of fishing poles. Haven't decided if I'm using them on this expedition or not. But I got them and we'll see if I take them and find any creeks or rivers to fish in. But start off the sleeping bags. Just got my new one. Thing's pretty cool. Super light, 15 degrees. This other one is a 20 degree one from Marmot. This one's a little smaller, packs a little tighter, but it looks pretty cool. Sleeping pads, new tent, trekking poles. You always gotta have knives, always. That is one critical tool. A couple of hatchets. I got my special uh, stabbing tool that I keep on my backpack at all times. My buddy Joe Robinson got me this freaking cool. Very, very strong. I don't know what kind of plastic it's made out of, but pretty cool. It's always good to have that on you. Easy reach. The camping chair, the Flex Light Air from REI. This thing is super cool, super light. It's nice to have a little chair to sit on while you're in the camp. And always make sure you carry some emergency items or medical kit. And got my trustworthy pills for any aches and pains or different types of scissors. These little cool folding ones that I forgot I had. You never know, I just should always be prepared. Got a life straw in case we run out of water, even though we got three liter Osprey uh, camel packs that go in our Osprey packs. But you should always have a, an extra source just in case you run out. And we got these little puppies, flash to go. It's always good to have a little alcohol while you're hiking, backpacking. And I got my trusty snowboarding one I always take. Yeah, these are because of less weight, as everybody says, pack light. I still take my my favorite one that Rhonda, my friend in California, bought me because they know I'm into skulls. And let's see. Always have a headlamps. You don't have to be super expensive, but this is an Everlast. But it works super great, super bright. And then I got my more expensive Petzl name brand. Battery pack, flashlight too for the tent or whatever. GoPro selfie stick, my new GoPro Hero 9. My wrist remote, my headband. Uh, easy, quick start to fire. I do have... I do have flint. I have a flint striker too, just in case. But even this knife comes with a already built in a two flint starters sticks. So that's pretty cool about that knife. And fingernail clippers. Like I said, you can never go wrong with carrying some uh, medical emergency stuff. Chopstick, extra cordage, never hurts to have a little bit of extra cordage if you need to tie down something or, who you knows, it could be used for a million different things. And like I said, these are one of the food packs we're going to try. We got more coming in, we're waiting on. Super light, super easy, just add water, heat it up. It's the only thing I don't have out here is a little the little burner and the little canisters of uh, fuel. This is freaking good uh, beef jerky. I've never had beef jerky like this, but super thin, 
not greasy at all. It's apparently it's supposed to be more healthy and just, this one's really spicy. Right up my alley. Always have a pair of gloves. What We will be taking heavier clothing because it's going to be cold. So this is not a, a summer backpacking. So we'll have to carry some winter or probably be wearing winter clothes like I do for snowboarding. And like I said, my new ugly stick fishing rods. I'm going to try out a little trout fishing. Just... Just more, basically, this is for uh, to test out some new gear, like I said, the, the tent, the sleeping bag, the air mattresses, uh, and start getting us in shape for a 40 mile through hike that we're planning on in a few months, but we're gonna do several in between. This trail we're going on is technically a 30 mile hike. If you did the whole thing, we won't be doing the whole thing but just part of it for a couple of days because we got a couple of days to kill. So anyway, snowboarding, that's for a couple of weeks later. But that's it. We'll see what happens. I'll go more into the setting of the gear when we are out on the trail. So I'm going over a little more about my Osprey backpack. It's a 50 liter Stratus 50. And what's cool about this, uh, the camel pack that comes with it, it's Osprey. So it fits in this little pocket inside. But unlike most backpacks, it has you can disconnect it from the tube that is goes through the through the pack, connects to your, your strap. You can disconnect it right here inside the pack and pull it out when you need when you need to uh, fill it up. Pretty awesome. It comes with this uh, backbone in it to keep it stiffer so it doesn't get squashed down in the in the pack, which is pretty cool. Anyway, that's one thing I didn't, I didn't go over with my all the other gear. But I can't wait to try this pack out. It's supposed to be super comfortable. It has air vent, it keeps the back, has extra support. Keep more weight on your hips and less off your shoulders. Different adjustments. Has this magnetic uh, thing for your your tube and just stick to it instead of always unvelcro on it or threading it through. So a lot of cool things. I can't wait to try out this backpack. I've been told I won't regret it because it did cost a little more. So we'll see.